Welcome to Focus on Faith, the program that brings you portraits of faith from across the nation. Join us as we bring you the faith of men and women from all walks of life who truly represent the spirit of America as we focus on faith. Greetings. Welcome to Focus on Faith. I'm Cindy Anderson, bringing you a worldwide fellowship of Christians in action. Today's Christian in action is Paul Miller, and he'll be sharing his personal portrait of faith. The Adirondack region of New York features over 100 welcoming communities, mountains, lakes, verdant valleys, and steep cliffs. Spanning more than six million acres, the Adirondack Mountains are home to the largest unprotected natural area in the lower 48 states. Nestled in the middle is this welcoming town of Indian Lake. The town, with a population of approximately 1,400, lies within the six million acre Adirondack Park. The Hudson River forms part of the eastern town line, and believe it or not, there are no traffic lights in town. Surrounded by numerous lakes, ponds, streams, and mountains, this community takes pride in its heritage and traditions. Those seeking the quintessential Adirondack community will find it in Indian Lake. It is here that we caught up with Pastor Paul Miller at the First Baptist Church. Pastor Paul enlightens us on what it means to be a pastor in a tightly knit church and in a tightly knit country community. So if you're in the mood for a dose of some old time religion, we think you'll really appreciate this interview. Filmed back in the 1980s, this interview has been seen by multitudes of people, young and old, through public service programming and cable networks. And now it's available through Telemissions International's new Life's Lighthouse series of programs that will be continually shining the light into a dark world. So join us as Pastor Paul Miller welcomes us into the beautiful community of Indian Lake, New York. Welcome to the tiny rural village of Indian Lake, New York. Nestled in a valley amidst the splendid beauty of mountain streams and sparkling lakes. Some hundred miles from the nearest urban town, there's a small community tucked away among tall, beautiful trees and high peaks in the majestic mountain range of the Adirondacks. Where it's not uncommon to find uninvited guests scavenging over last night's leftovers. And where a solemn wooden Indian stands guard outside a local post office and general store. And nearby a little country church stands ready to open its doors for today's Sunday service. Where Pastor Paul Miller is calling his parishioners together from miles around for worship. There's something special about a country preacher, so our Focus on Faith camera crew stopped here at the First Baptist Church of Indian Lake. Pastor Paul, along with his wife Shirley, pastored this little church in the mountains. But this Adirondack preacher is not only a religious leader, for his country congregation, he is a member of the family. And I think you'll agree, Pastor Paul Miller is kind of special. But the people themselves motivate. The people are hungry. Uh, these people care for one another, and they're pleading with me to uh, take my message more from the pulpit and take it into their homes and into their hearts. And I just love it. And uh, the more I get involved, the more I say I can't picture myself in any other type of ministry. Pastor Paul mentioned that his father's prayers and encouragement were the inspiration for him to closely examine a life in the ministry. And we were interested to hear about another challenge. Friends in college that challenged me 
to be about the Lord's business. And as a matter of fact, they came right out in a very bold way, and they said, we don't believe that you mean business with the Lord until you do something about it. And they took me down to the city to, uh, uh, in fact, it was Greenwich Village, uh, down with the uh, Lower East Side of New York, passing on gospel tracts. And I really got into it then. And uh, later on, well, the Lord brought me up here to the mountains. Quite a change, a very different change, but just as delightful, and I wouldn't give it up for anything. And we were surprised to learn that these country people are definitely not isolated from big city adversity. I don't find that there is that much difference between what I experience on the Lower East Side in Greenwich Village and right here in the Adirondack community. People are lost all over. People are hungry. We have deaths, we have murders, we have uh, not in the extent that the uh, urban areas would, but uh, people are lost and they have a lost condition. We wondered what Pastor Paul sees as some of the grassroot problems his friends face in the Adirondack Mountains. One of our big problems is loneliness of the people, the shut-ins and things. You have to realize that our nearest real shopping is 60 miles away. We don't go around the corner to eat or to shop. Uh, so our ministry right there is uh, getting people uh, in a communal relationship. Who needs what from the local shopping place and can we go and get them? Uh, people oftentimes uh, are people that we reach far apart from our pulpit right here. We soon learned that a great deal of this pastor's time is spent with shut-ins. That's because loneliness is a major problem faced by these people of the North Country. The pastor has come to rely on his wife Shirley as a source of steady support. Besides raising a growing family, Shirley works closely at her husband's side, and you'll always find an open door and warm welcome for everyone at their home. And I think of the people that come into our great Adirondack Park here, and, and I look at them and there's so much in a hurry. Uh, the way they drive sometimes, uh, the food they buy, and they're always a, a nervous wreck and it seems like they're a nervous wreck when they leave. I experience the peace that passeth understanding that keeps my heart and mind in Jesus. It's something I wouldn't give up. And it's something that if I didn't have that relationship with, with the Lord Jesus Christ, then I'd be just as confused and just as lost as they are. Oftentimes people will stop into my home and say, where's a good place to go camping? And I just love that because I'm a camper myself, so I'll uh, send them to a place that they've never heard of, that no one else has heard of. And uh, along the line, uh, one of the joys is being able to share with them uh, the beauty of God's nature and a testimony too. And oftentimes we'll find that these very people that I direct to uh, this mountain and across this brook way off where nobody knows, next Sunday we'll come back and be under the ministry of the word right here inside the church building. So we decided to ask Pastor Paul, why do you have such a love for these people of the North Country? They shower the love of, of Jesus Christ in a way you wouldn't believe. Uh, when one of our people runs out of fuel oil, there'll be a knock on the door and someone will hand in the door $75 and walk away. Uh, you might look out your door and suddenly uh, one of the uh, brothers in the church will drive up with a pickup load of, of, uh, of firewood and say, here, God told me to give this to you so you can keep warm. Uh, these are people that will give their lives for you because we care, because our town is not just a town. Our town is an extended family. And, and I, I just love them for that, and they do it in the name of the Lord. So the next time someone says there's no more old-time religion, I'll be thinking of Pastor Paul Miller and his family. Thank you for joining us today with our sincere hope that you have been blessed and encouraged with this Focus on Faith timeless testimony. Now friend, if you want to see more of these unique videos, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe in order to never again miss any of the upcoming timeless testimonies. By you simply caring and sharing this unique series of programs with your friends and family and relatives, you can greatly help our channel by getting our subscriptions up. 
That way we'll be able to keep this video channel up and running. Now, why is that important? Well, I just want to quote the Reverend Dr. Charles Swindoll, which says, which he says, no persuasive technique will ever take the place of a personal testimony. If you have not discovered the value of telling others how God can rearrange a life, you missed a vital link in the chain of his plan for reaching the lost. End of quote. So now friends, let's get excited by helping this channel spread the good news. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you would like to check out the entire series of Focus on Faith videos, then just click the link below and select the testimony you'd like to watch. Now, in closing, today's timeless testimony may have impacted someone out there and God is speaking to you right now. And that person wants to commit their life to follow Christ. Friend, I would encourage you to start by reading your Bible and to begin to practice what the Bible says. And I pray that you will get strong in the desire to go out and find a good Bible teaching church to join. And to not, that's right, not, don't let yourself get distracted. But rather, that you will make this a priority in your life to seek God's will for a new life in Christ. Now, if you want to know more about having a more abundant and fulfilling life, then this booklet, Beginning with Christ by Navigators International, is a great way to get started. And I want to send this to you absolutely free if you'll just call 1-800-28-FAITH. That's right, just call 1-800-28-FAITH and I will be happy to send this to you free. Just simply leave your name and address and I will mail it out directly. Or if you prefer, you can simply email us at info at and request this free booklet there. And if you have a specific prayer request, just let us know. And we will include our, your request in our daily prayer time. Now for those of you who would like to know more about Telemissions International and how this unique ministry got started, just visit our website, telemissions.org and learn the story of how these many timeless testimonies were recorded in the early 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and will live on for decades to come. Also, you can purchase a copy of Born to Preach by the late Dr. Gordon Anderson Sr. This book, I'm sure, will help those of you who now may be called to a life in the ministry as this book tells the riveting life story of my father's faith, travels, triumphs, and action-packed stories with Alaska wildlife photography and exciting adventures, including on-location interviews with doctors, senators, astronauts, and much, much more. Spanning over his 70-year ministry, this book will captivate and sway the hearts of young and old readers alike. Available on our website, telemissions.org. Check it out. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment on our website, and tell your friends about this new and exciting series of programs. We all know the power of a personal testimony, and this and many more classic testimonies like this will continue to spread the light, helping others around the world through God's lighthouse. Now, this picture you see behind me here of the lighthouse on the stormy shores of the Outer Banks is our hallmark. That's right, signifying the importance of Telemissions International reaching out to multitudes for Christ. Just think of it. Every timeless testimony that is being broadcast is like a beacon of light, beaming out the good news on the stormy shores of cyberspace for decades to come. So please, won't you consider sharing it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever you can do to help spread the light? Now, thanks again for joining us today this is Dr. Gordon Anderson Jr. sharing with you our prayer promise, and that is Psalm 121, verse 2, which says, My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And friend, remember, start every day in prayer. Now God's richest blessings as you focus your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. People that come into our great Adirondack Park here, and, and I look at them, and there's so much in a hurry. Uh, the way they drive sometimes, uh, the food they buy, and they're always a, a nervous wreck and it seems like they're a nervous wreck when they leave. I experience the peace that passeth understanding that keeps my heart and mind in Jesus.
it's something I wouldn't give up. And it's something that if I didn't have that relationship with, with the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, then I'd be just as confused and just as lost as they are.